can everybody hear me yeah yes okay now everybody can hear me before that nobody was able to hear me yeah before we before you were muted okay <laughs> so the thing about marmas the rishi sushirit who constructed um, ayurveda itself the rishi told there are 107 crucial points in the body he said do not touch them he just said do not touch them he didn't define he he told where are those points but he didn't define the functions he didn't define anything the later details in the very detailed version was given by yogis only but that only happened like one on one student to master master to student kind of thing not student to master master to student so that's how the knowledge flew one place to another but it remained very um, limited very limited so it happened something like this shiva and ma parvati they were going in jungle and they found one hunter lying down as if he was breathless, almost dead. They assumed that he's dead. So Mata Parvati requested Shiva that see what is happening. Shiva just went. Shiva had a golden stick. So with the gold stick, he put, you know, put that stick to some points. And that guy, that hunter, came back to life. He was all okay. So Mahaparvati asked, how does it work? Then Shiva told in one particular system that how these steps, how these points work in the body. So that knowledge was limited to yogis only. Only to the yogis. Then she taught the same knowledge to her son, Murgesan, the Shiva and uh, Maparvati's son, Murgesan. Murugan, sorry. Murugan, Kartike is the same uh, person. She told the whole system. Now that whole system, I'm about to teach you. The Marma points are 107. I will give you eight more points. These are not even given in Ayurveda, not given anywhere. I'll give you eight more points. I have 100 more, but I will give you only eight. Only people who might be later on interested to become masters because rest of the points are like, like they can be killing. If you mistreat it without a proper pressure, you can kill somebody. I will not teach those in this course only to the masters later on. But these points, which I'm going to teach in this course, are day-to-day -day usage, people with uh, diseases, people with uh, knee pains, heart issues, blood pressure, any other disease can be treated through this. Before it happens, there are certain symptoms. So what we will do in this course, first I will teach you all the points, where these points are. These are so simple, just where these points are. And then I will give you one detail. These points are like, there are five different type of points. Some points, the points which are on the bone, the points which are on the muscle, the points which are on the tendons, they need a different kind of pressure. Every point needs a different kind of pressure. Not every, but some fall in um, uh, bone category, some fall in muscle category, some fall in tendon category. They have different names. I'm just, for a, for a layman language, I'm just speaking in a very, very uh, simple language. Now, today's point is because I put this course as a paid course. So we put this course like 
$100 fees for this whole course. But once this course is done, we record this course, then it will be $300. Yes. You can treat yourself, you can treat your family members, you can treat anybody with this. But first, we will learn where these points are situated. Then comes the point how to pressurize them. Then comes the point how to mix points to get a desired result. Let's suppose there's a point, uh, somebody has the blood pressure issue or maybe heart issue. So then we need to take a proper case study of that person, how the heart issue developed, what kind of body type they have, what kind of problems they have in life. Then slowly, from there, we take one point, okay, let's suppose they had stress in the life, in life. So we know that there are some points that we need to give from the head, so to release the stress. There are some other points in the arms and the legs which release the stress. So we give them that combination, we add that point in that whole cluster of points that will give them to press, the murmurs. So, in Ayurveda, it is limited to 107, but in yogic system, they are more than that. First, I will give you 107. Then I will give you eight more for this session, for this course. Yeah. So, let's suppose, let's take one particular thing, because this is for free that we are doing today. There is one case that we have in ashram. There is one woman. She had breast cancer, and what happened? Doctors took sample from her breast from five different places. Just as you know, it's a normal breast, and you took five samples just from there, just because the cancer is there. Somehow, one sample they took right at the spot of Marma point right at from that point. Now, doctor said, okay, it will be fine. She was taking medicine. Cancer was again coming up, going down, coming up, going down. Then she came to us. Then we started working on her. Now her cancer is settled. But what happens to her breast, she develops swelling time to time. The very moment she will carry something heavy, because she has a young child, she had to carry the child. The moment she will carry the child, her breast will swell up. The reddishness will come and it will give the same pain, same feeling as if some tissue is gone from there. A fresh sample has been taken from there. It feels like that. Now we are trying to give her little smoothness every time she gets into the same stage. But the problem is, that point is exactly the marma point that has been hit. So the Rishi is also told, the Shushirit Rishi, he also told these points shall be preserved at any cost. Now let's suppose somebody got into accident, somebody gets into this kind of situation where the doctors don't know which point to take and all the stuff. I would call it mishappening. Let's suppose this kind of mishappening happens. Then what to do? Even if you're doing everything in life, but still the improvement is not coming. There is one point that you must take care of. I'm giving you this point today. We are not wasting time here. So all of us, we need to open our hand like this and you see this this flesh here, yeah? And from the other thumb, take the first line of the thumb. Now settle this first line on this flesh. You need to open your thumb properly, full. Settle this line on this flesh, gently, very gently. Do not press, just keep it straight. Then, Fold this thumb very gently wherever it lands towards your thumb side, little to the upside. Wherever it lands, do not push it forward, do not bring it back, or just gently wherever it lands. 
little towards the thumb side, you press it. Now hold it, grab it, and press it. Depending upon the person, if you are pressing this on a child, do it very, very gentle as if you are just touching it like pop, 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 pop. For this, anybody has gone through any kind of accident. Sometimes we don't know whether some murmur has been hit or something. 18 times every day on each hand. Here, here, both hands. Now, notice this. Everybody, means everybody, no exception. Their full body is 84 fingers. You are 84 fingers. So you go from here, 4, 4, 12, 16, 20, it will go like 84. Such a proportionate body everybody has according to the finger size. And these points are precisely situated with the finger count. With the finger count. It will be so easy to learn. And this works as like miracles. There's one uh, old lady. She's coming to the ashram right now these days. She, her, she was taking that, what you call that, support stretcher? No, not stretcher. The walking thing. It was like, she was taking that. And doctor said, okay, your knees cannot be healed. You need to go through operation. Somehow she started to visit uh, ashram. It's been uh, two months now. She is not using that. And she's able to walk, but very little. Without any support. And she's old, about 70 years old. She got spacing in her knee. But now it is going back. Then comes another point I want to give. This point is called Tal Hridaya. Hridaya means heart. Tal means the base, the base of heart. Almost everybody goes through some kind of pain or trauma or some kind of incident in their life which hits hair. It could be anything. It could be relationship, it could be professional, it could be anything, but everybody goes through something in their life. One time, at least. So now we don't know whether we have cleared that trauma or not. When the Kundalini will start to rise only, then you will get to know. Then you will cry endlessly. Then, how to give that soothing nature or soothing experience to the heart so that when the kundalini starts to flow through heart it becomes easy also so how tal hridaya works everybody do not go too hard just gently fold your fingers gently just gently just as if you are not putting any pressure wherever your fingers land now, where the middle finger is landing, just note that point. Note it. Exactly there. So, total of your this, this size of your uh, fist is six fingers. You can measure it, measure it. Four, then two. Just from here, measure it from here. It's like four and two fingers. Six fingers. Everybody has six fingers. Your fingers. So this point comes, either if you take it from here, it will be after four fingers, just in the line of middle finger. Or simply you take it, you fold it like this, wherever the middle finger is landing, this is the Talhirdya. Just here, right here, on both hands. Now, what Talhirde does, this is one thing related with Kundalini also. This is one thing to treat your traumas also. This is the one point 
which is to bring harmony also. Let's suppose, I'll give you one, one thing. Let's suppose you're going in a situation where you know the second person doesn't think good about you. Even if you're standing in a courtroom, you know that the other person is, you know, trying to bring things against you. Just simple press this. Press these points gently. This, or with the other hand also, you can do it with the thumb also, you can do it gently. With male, uh, male men who, who go to gym or something like this, they have to go to little extra pressure. Females do it gently, little pressure. Men who are not going to the gym, their hands are little still heavy. They can still go a little harder. Yeah, females, you go gentle. Hmm? Press it 15 times on both hands. You will see your vibration changes. We can, we can try it right away. Everybody. Just find your point, fold your fingers. Just gently. Do not fold it like this as if you have to make a punch. Just let, gently let the fingers land on the wrist, uh, on the palm. Find that point. For now, use the other hand for the thumb. Use it. Yeah. And 15 times. Close your eyes and feel how you feel. Just 15. On both hands. 15 here, right, 15 on the left. Anybody who have any kind of trauma in life, they feel pain here, they can try it. Do it continuously for one month because we, we cannot do much two times in a day. 15 and 15. Not more than that. They are that delicate. Not more than that means not more than that. I always give a warning. Do not take it lightly. So that's why I, I thought that I will not give the complete stuff on, a, on YouTube or something. Just a little because there are so many delicacies here, so much. We'll go slow, but we will learn the best of the techniques that can be used in adverse cases. If somebody you know who's going through heart issues, even if the doctor has told that, okay, you need surgery, I'm taking full responsibility of it, but I will not put it on YouTube. <laughs> If they have one or two months before they need to go to the surgery, tell them to practice this. Before surgery, uh, let them have a test. There will be major change in the report. Then they can reconsider whether they need to go for the surgery or not. Then they can take more time, depending upon what kind of heart issue it is. That's why, again, I say take the expert advice. <laughs> but you will not find uh, much of this uh, marma. Uh, people are teaching marmas. But uh, the deep knowledge is only with your yogis. If somebody is a yogi and he's teaching, then you will get the good knowledge. I'm not saying that I'm teaching the best. To alter your life, we cannot seek medicine all the time. Why to land yourself in a stage where you have to go to the emergency room or to a doctor? When you load, let's suppose you know already that you have this kind of weakness. Your body is, everybody's born different. Somebody's body is knees troubling, even if they are practicing yoga. 
somebody's heart is hurting just because they are hurt somewhere. No other issue. Somebody's psychology is something like this that they feel weak inside. You don't need much of the things. Regular yoga practice, good diet, and practice just gentle murmurs. You're good to go. For your entire life, some things can still happen depending if a virus is coming or bacteria is coming, if you get in touch with that. That is a separate story. But still. So now, if anybody has any question now, I'll, I'll give, uh, for now, uh, this would be a thing. If you have any personal question about your, you are going through some issue, I will give you the point right away, but I will teach the whole system in the course only. So today, this was just a little introduction to know, to let you know that what we are going to learn, what this is all about. But still, I gave you one of the best thing. If, any, if you don't know anything, what is going wrong if some marma has been hurt or something, then shipra, we call it shipra, shipra point, this. If let's suppose somebody has little this, then talhir there. For now, we can deal with many things with this. But it depends if we need to pinpoint the things. Why to beat around the bush? If you want a particular result, then effect should be there, then we should act there only. For that, we will be doing in the course. And uh, this time we decided that we put a course fee. For now, we have put a course fee of $100. Uh, but once this course is complete, then we'll put it on um, a $300 for, for anybody. I will give you a proper documentation. We prepared that. That's why it took, because uh, many of you has, uh, had already sent me the fees but I was taking time, okay, now, now, now. We were making this, uh, what you call it, on a paper to so that it becomes easy for you, the digital photographs, where these points are, and all that stuff. So it took me a little time, though we announced it a little early, but many of you were a little um, curious <laughs> to join early. So yeah, so it will be like that. But still, now we can unmute you. And Ashishji, if anybody has any question, uh, you can ask, I will, I will. Uh, answer happily. Sir, I have a question. Anybody? Uh, yes, I have a question. Um, no question? Lovely. Uh, sir, I have a question Love. regarding when we are I'm doing the I'm very point. happy that nobody has any issue. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I wish everybody a, a super health you shall never go through any issue. This knowledge is to preserve only. Yeah, there's a question. I'm always asking a question. Oh, I, I cannot hear you. So, oh, because my microphone is attached, so I cannot hear you. Oh, come on. Can women do these points on periods? Okay, yeah. Yes. It can. These points can be pressed uh, during the periods. Especially this point is very good for PCOS, PCOD. This point is very good. The shipper. This point is very good for females. It can be done during the cycle also. No harm in that. There are some points which are in the leg. So sometimes during the cycle, uh, you know, there's too much of leg pain and all the stuff. Uh, so those points are in the leg. Uh, that can be given, but not today. So, yeah. But this will bring harmony in your hormonal system. The shipper. Anybody has any question about this point? Yeah, this point is clear, no? Yeah. Just this first line, first touch it to that flesh part, then let it go a little up. Okay. Another question. What is the difference between acupressure and this? Acupressure has different points. These are not acupressure points. Acupressure might have one or two points of from marma therapy because I don't know acupressure. But these points are coming from Ayurveda, marma. They are entirely different. In acupressure, you have to press it until it hurts. 
Yeah. So in the acupressure, generally they say no pain, no gain. But here it doesn't work like this. Here, just by touching is good enough. To kids, like, like a young kid, between two years to four years, you just simply touch it like this, as if you're tapping, like this. You know? For adults, like grown ups, you just a gentle pressure. Gentle pressure. You don't have to put too much pressure on it. Yeah. So that is the difference between the pressure they provide or they do the pressure we need. Points are actually very different also. So acupressure and murma, they are completely a different uh, science, I would say. Yeah, is it clear, Amu? Yeah, I suppose you said yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I cannot hear you. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's a girl around 17 years old with how to read this. Okay. Oh, now I can read. Uh, what is it? There's a girl around 17 years old with cerebral palsy. Can she get better with this? They have been taking hair locally for murma therapy for about five years. Murma therapy, they are already taking murma therapy, but it should have been already better. What is cerebral palsy? What happens in this? I, I don't go with the disease name. Most of the time, I don't even know the disease. I just want to know what happens do, you know, in that disease. What do they actually go through? There are some points in the head that uh, we can go with that. And sometimes we need to know more detail about it. Sometimes Murma therapy doesn't have the, all the cure. Lack of oxygen when born, some points in the brain are not wrong. Super, 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 super. It can be done in Murma. There are some points in the leg only, they will bring more oxygen in the body. They oxygenate the legs also. Sometimes she has problem while walking and writing. Oh, lovely, it can be done. If, I don't know if they are already taking Murma therapy, I'm not sure. If, if they're taking Murma therapy from, uh, from a doctor, from a yogi, From who? Not a doctor. So who they are taking it from? Because Ayurvedic doctor, some local practitioner, some local practitioner like, uh, like, I don't know. If they're not coming from the yogic background, they don't know how to, how to put the pressure. Because these are into five different categories and every category has a different kind of pressure. Now it depends. The marma therapy we're gonna teach how you're going to put pressure on yourself and how you're going to pre put pressure on somebody else. That also matters. A child will have that kind of energy. So the way I told you earlier that men who are masculine going to the gym, they need to put pressure a little hard. Women, a little soft. Now, I don't know how they're doing it, but it can be done in Marma. Now, here... See, that's why I say take full consultation. First, we see astrological system, why the problem is there. If there is a karma behind it, then we see, okay, how you can help it. So we contribute two, three aspects of life to bring the health back to its normal, uh, you know, uh, back to its normal things. Some people just follow just one thing, Marma. Our approach is to make the health in any way. So we use Astrology. I personally use astrology to see what karma is bringing that problem. What is the right time to do it before or after eating? Best is keep one time in the morning, one time in the evening. It could be any time, but the food, it should be one and a half hour gap is good enough. Just one and a half hour. Not more than that. In yogic system, we need three to four hours of gap, depending if you ate heavy food or light food. Heavy food, keep a good little extra gap. But with the points, one to one and a half hour is good enough. What happens if we don't give gap? Now, these are kind of chakras in your body. These are energy points, we can call it. Energy is flowing through, your, through these points. When 
you have already taken food now the body also has to manage the digestion system metabolism and all the stuff taking the all the nutrition from the food and giving it to the body there's a whole process on a different level and when you start doing this then two things can happen either the energy which was supposed to given for the digestion and all that goes here i'm i'm just referring to this point goes here or the energy which was supposed to be used here goes to the digestion either thing so you won't get the proper result either you will get little malfunctioning in your digestion or either you get not proper result here something will happen so it's better to give one and a half hour at least a gap of that time is good enough so so that you can get good benefit of it yeah so ashish ji that uh, that girl little child 17 year old girl she can get better if you know her personally then um, we know how to handle this case it's it's not a major thing but somehow it's been major how long they have been taking this uh, practice for 5 years yeah 5 years is too much 5 years you can bring five babies but uh, this 5 years we it it should have taken maximum 6 months maximum 6 months maximum 6 months lovely 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 all right ji thank you for coming if anybody has question from this session this this we will edit some part that we don't want to say openly on youtube uh, rest of the video we will put on youtube also but next the whole course will be only for the people who have registered for the course and those videos will not be available on youtube but they will be recorded and they will put separately only for the students for later on who will join the course and uh, mama point for limited beliefs uh, i don't get it can you rephrase uh, i didn't understand fully how to read this okay anyways i missed ali your message i didn't get the uh, little meaning of the message if you can rephrase it that would be better oh no it has no relationship with the belief system it is like a point is a point it's a, it's a physical thing it's not uh, what you call it uh, imaginary thing that okay let's put one point here think about oh this will bring you money <laughs> no these are physical points you will feel the pain also there on these points and these are exact location of those points in everybody no exception means no exception exactly after four fingers that is the point it means that is the point so just for your reference you know i i will give you another point so everybody fold their elbow and put thumb here put your thumb like this yes now open your arm and simply grab the fo the forearm wherever your middle finger will land yes middle finger will land there will be a point so some people are doing it right some people are doing it wrong mind it the exact sharp point your thumb shall go there julie it is yes it's fine yeah 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 now bring it here so because some people might not get it so search like about in half an inch periphery you can search there in that periphery yeah just touch press it you will feel it in that periphery you have to just with the middle finger do not use any other finger 
Anybody who who found it, who found that point? Oh, I can. I think I can roll up my sleeve. Yes. Is it fine? This point. Who got it? Give me a thumb up. Anybody got it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sumita. Lovely. Raghunandan ji, did you get it? Yes. Do not care to extend your arm. Just gently let it land. Gently let it land. Just let it land. And because you might be up and down, so just seek that periphery. Once you find that point, it will hurt. You press it, it will hurt. You will get to know that, okay, this is the point. So then accordingly adjust for now. In the same way, calculative points are there in the body. Now, you see, CIA. This we will not put on YouTube, Ashish Ji, please. <laughs> I will not teach how to use to kill people, but I will teach you where those points are. Yeah, You can try it on yourself, but exactly the way I tell you to put pressure. Exactly the way. Do not think, do not misunderstand it that if you put more pressure, you will get more benefit. You might see God <laughs> if you put more pressure. So avoid seeing God before time, yeah? These are, they are that delicate. Yeah. So, okay. So like this, there are points in the body that we will find with time. Yeah. So anybody who would want to register today, they can uh, send a message on the WhatsApp also. And... Uh, we will send you the payment link or something. You can send your fees there. And from tomorrow, for the students who have already registered, we'll be regulating the course from now. We will, we will try to end this course within seven days. Uh, they are 107 plus eight points. And uh, if, and the, in the later stage, I'm thinking we will take like these kind of sessions for those students. They will develop some questions, Maybe some neighbor is going through something. We will design it so that you can learn how to make your own pattern, how to see a disease, how to see a problem, and which kind of combination is required to give there so that we can get good effects. I'm telling you, nobody needs to eat medicine. Nobody needs. First thing is you should be aware whether this is actually the stage where you need medicine Sometimes we get, you know, get little fever and we say, okay, pop up a little paracetamol is fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine to take medicine. So first we need to know what kind of degree we are going through. Sometimes situations are little, literally very serious and we don't take medicine. Even that is not good. While we are trying any mudras, also we can try this. Because as per our last discussion with you, suggest me to do Mercury Mudra for me. That's why I'm asking. While we are trying any mudras, also we can try this. Yes, you can try this. Now this, this point is not for everybody. It is especially for somebody who is going through, you can call, for females, it's good. For people who are going through diabetes, people are uh, even... Hypo or hyper, doesn't matter. It will regulate the sugar level in the body. Only those people do it. Yeah. So these points are supposed to be pressed when there is some problem. Not before the problem. Do not think that these are like to keep you healthy. They can keep you healthy also. But these are supposed to be practiced when there is something not good. To keep your proper health, there are only few points that we can keep, like Shipra, to make every other point balanced. This can be practiced, but not regularly. 
it can be like once in a month, only for one week you continue, give a gap. Next month, practice for one week, give a gap. That can be done. Some other points can be done. Excuse me. Some other points can also be done like this only. They are not supposed to be practices literally every day. And some points can be done every day, like this clapping we do. Yeah, the namaste we do. Now, these days we say namaste like this sometimes, just namaste folding hands. It has to be proper. Proper, there are two points I will teach in the course also. This, what you call it, wrist, they proper, they shall properly meet. That goes proper namaste. The namaste itself becomes beneficial. In one video I make about namaste, how it is going to change your life with the vibration that you will create. But at the same time, the prana points that you press, that's another story. That we will continue in the course. <laughs> if you continue asking me questions, I will keep on giving for free. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me make some money. Yeah, We need to run an ashram. It's a, it's a big ashram. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for your support. And uh, we will continue in the course. I, hopefully I want to see you because... I only wanted to give you who, who joined this one-on-one. -on -one. I want this conversation so that we can give the blessing in this straight matter. That's why I kept the price also, fee also, little low. Later on, we'll keep high. Only who is seriously interested will learn. Otherwise, we don't want to give it to anybody who doesn't want to learn it seriously. You know? There is no point. There is no point. All right. My blessings to all of you. Lots of love. Lots of love. And enjoy. May you always remain healthy and blessed. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Pranam. <laughs> I'll take your leave. <laughs>